always do, always, first thing, before I start messing with T accounts, is I think about pregnant Alice over there. And on my T accounts, I write down which side increases and which side decreases so that I can keep that junk straight. Okay? So, bank account. What type of account is a bank account? An asset. An asset. Because a bank account is money. An asset is anything you can turn into money. A bank account is an asset. Which means assets increase on what side? The, the left side, the debit side. So if it increases on the debit side, what does it do on the credit side? It decreases. Okay? So that means that as we start going through this, if we put something on the increase column, it goes on the debit side. And if we put something on the decrease column for the bank account, we would make the entry on the credit side. Okay? Van asset. What type of account is it? It says it in the title. All right. So how does it work? Same way. Same way as the bank account. All right. We got a whole bunch of expense accounts. How do expense accounts work? They go up on the right. I mean, they go up on the left. They increase on the debit side and decrease on the credit side, just like asset accounts, right? Right. Because for Alice, we have. Assets and expenses increase on the debit side. Right. We got cupcakes flying all over the room. <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> Laura, you're cleaning the carpet. All right. So all of our expense it's accounts. Just a bagel. It's just a bagel. Okay. Well, you brought them. You're cleaning the room. All right. So, all of our expense accounts work exactly the same. Right. Right. So I'm just gonna write it all down. If you do this every time. When you're on an individual T account, you don't have to think about it again. What the heck did I just do? Alright. So if you write it on your T account, then when you're using it and you're making entries, you don't have to think about Alice. You don't even have to have her written down because you wrote it on your T account. Alright. Auto liability. That's on the other side. What's on the other side? The liability account for Alice. So go up and down. Down and down. Down and down. Okay, increases on the credit side, decreases on the debit side. Owner's equity. Same, Same thing. Same. Credits increase, debit does decrease. Right, because what's another name for owner's equity? Capital. Capital. I always write that down too. Because in the term Alice, we use the C. Otherwise, our acronym wouldn't work. It would be Ali. That'd be <laughs> So, all right, we have all our arrows. Helpful. Yes. We can just look at the T account. We don't have to look at a job aid. We don't have to look at that side of the board over there. We don't have to remember we wrote it down. We thought it through first before we start dealing with numbers. All right. First thing, we made money. What do we do to our bank account? Increases. It increases. When, what side of the T account do I put it on? Left, left. left side. In accounting terms, I am debiting the bank account. Here's where it screws you up. When we talk to our assisted payroll customers, what do we tell them when we're taking money out of their bank account? We're debiting, we're debiting, their, debiting bank. their bank account. We're going to debit your bank account. That means we're taking our money out. I just said that debit means increase. See how the banking industry is screwed up with accounting? <laughs> they mess with us. I'm trying to make it confusing. Don't think about the banking industry when you're thinking about accounting. Okay? We're debiting an asset account. We are debiting an asset account. Now what? We need to record the owner's equity. We need to record the owner's equity. A general ledger is nothing more than a bunch of notes that we need to make sure we follow and move over to our T account. So the next account in line is owner's equity. Owner's equity increased. That's what we said earlier. So what do we do to our owner's equity account? Credit side. We increase it, which is the credit side. So credit becomes a verb. So we are crediting our owner's equity account for $1 million. Good. Next one. We paid our rent. What do we need to
to do it to our bank account? Decrease, decrease it. So we are crediting, because it decreases on the credit side, we are crediting our bank account another way. This works. The easiest way to keep it clear, and it was hard to do on the web-based tutorial, is you skip a line. So like here's your $1 million, right? We'll skip a line. Keeps it just a little bit clear so that you don't assume that the 5,000 goes with a million. Right? We're very linear people. Humans are. I mean, not we. Well, we're human. <laughs> so we credit our bank account. What else do we need to do? We need to increase our rent expense. An increase for our expense account goes on the debit side, so we are debiting rent expense for $5,000. I'm trying to keep them the same color as what we have on our ledger to try to keep it clear. All right, next one. We bought our supplies, our leashes, and our pillows and junk. So what do we need to do? We need to credit our bank account. Credit the bank account for $25,000. And debit supply expense. And we need to debit supply expense for $25,000. Now, have you noticed, even though bank account and owner's equity both increased. This was a debit. This was a credit. Do our debits equal our credits on that transaction? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we paid our rent, we credited our bank account, but we debited our rent expense. Do our debits equal our credits? Yes. yes. By golly, we must be doing something right. <laughs>